Hi Madhukar, welcome to IIT Delhi. We're very glad to have you with us. We want to know a little bit about you. Why don't you uh, give me a bit of your background? Tell me uh, where you're coming from, where you did your PhD. Yeah. Hi, Amitabha. So I I joined uh, IIT Delhi uh, last year in October. And uh, before this, I was working as a researcher at TCS Research in Pune. And uh, I did my uh, PhD from uh, this place called Chennai Mathematical Institute uh, in Chennai, uh, India. And after my PhD, I have been uh, working with uh, TCS uh, Research till I joined here uh, last year. Great. And can you tell me a bit about your research area? What is the kind of work that you do? Yeah. So I yeah. So I mostly work in the area of uh, verifying programs so, or or verifying software. So given a program which has been written to uh, to do a certain task, or given a software that has been written to meet a certain specification, what uh, my work tries to do is to actually formally prove that the program will actually indeed do what it is supposed to do or if it is not going to do what it's supposed to do then uh, i work on producing uh, a trace to to demonstrate that it it may actually fail to do what is what it is supposed to do and uh, similarly so when we can talk about i see okay that's, that's very interesting it's a very fundamental kind of uh, problem uh, in computing uh, to figure out what a program does so uh, can you tell me a little bit about the, say, the mathematical underpinnings of this? What kind of thinking is it involved? Logic, algebra, uh, what kind of mathematics is involved in this? In brief, can you... Yeah, certainly. So the way this works, so, so what's underlying all this is, is some form of a language in which we can tell a computer what the program is, which itself uh, can be written in terms of some logic. And we can also we, we also need to tell the computer what the intended behavior of the program is, which is again given to the machine or which is again told to the machine in some logic. And then the machine can understand what the program is doing and what it is supposed to do because it can understand the logical language and then do this verification task for you whether uh, the program is actually going to meet its specification or not. So what goes underneath all this is, is a lot of uh, formal statement of what the software is doing or what the program is doing and what it is supposed to be doing. So this is what I goes see. underneath this. Yeah. Okay, so, so students who plan to work with you should be interested in dealing with these kind of mathematical techniques. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, applications, of course, there's obvious application, you know, software producers all over the world want to make sure that their software does what it's supposed to do. But there are also applications in security uh, here. Yeah, certainly. So, yeah, so first of all, to answer uh, your question about what the students uh, should know. So the students should in general be uh, willing to reason about uh, programs that they write mathematically or logically. That that a program has been written so we can logically understand what a, a program is, is supposed to do. It, we need not run the program. We can verify the correctness even without running the program. So that's 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 one thing that that is desirable. So 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 basically, a mathematical aptitude would, is 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 greatly desirable to work right. in this area. And right. uh, yeah, and certainly there are applications. So for instance, as you said, so there are uh, applications in uh, of program verification itself. Uh, people all over the world are writing programs, and they would like to be sure that the program that they are writing is is actually correct whatever it may mean uh, whatever correctness may mean for them but it also definitely has applications in security and uh, in program analysis and uh, these days of course there is a related area of uh, neural network verification and uh, right. also synthesis where you are not just trying to prove that a program is correct but you are also trying to uh, generate a program, uh, a correct program automatically from your uh, computer. 
So right, these are right. so there are many in many different areas. Yeah, it's very interesting. So can you uh, can I ask you uh, why did you choose to come to IIT Delhi? Okay, yeah. So yeah, so IIT Delhi is definitely uh, one of the best places in India to do academic research. My personal interest has also been because I am passionate towards teaching. So here uh, is a place where. Uh, you know, one can do teaching as well as research and IIT Delhi is definitely one of the best names in the country to do uh, both these things. That's why great, I come here. Great. great. So we are very happy to have you here as well and look forward to, you know, hearing more from you and more about your research in the future. But for this introductory video, I think that we've got what we needed. Thanks a lot for talking to us, Madhukar, and all best wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amitabha.